hi welcome to this video and this channel and in this video we will be discussing prabbing which is one of the courses in the building sector in a previous video we discussed water engineering and i would like you to check the video so that you can see the difference between water engineering and prabbing i've seen a lot of people confuse water engineering and prabbing and i would like you to have that clear knowledge in case you decide to pursue either of those two courses now our water engineer is concerned with various groundwater and surface water resources, water abstraction. Our water engineer is concerned with prospecting the water demand for a given population. He also does units like surveying, remote sensing and GIS that assist in mapping of the ground and surface water resources. In collaboration with a civil engineer, he designs and constructs various water retaining structures such as large water tanks, reservoirs, dams, canals, and he covers units like geology and hydrology that helps in mapping, exploration, and abstracting of groundwater. Our water engineer is also concerned with wastewater correction, treatment, and disposal of the wastewater. So we can see water engineering is much, much broader compared to prabbing. Now I think I've given you enough information about water engineering, and I would like us to dig deeper in prabbing, and we see what prabbing is all about. There is an art sign in prabbing, and there is also a certificate in prabbing. Basically, any Tibet institution that you check into, most likely they will be offering a course in prabbing. So I will not need to go to the website of the various institutions to check whether they offer prabbing. Because in any case, in any institution you decide to check in, most likely they will be offering a course in prabbing. Now, as usual, let us check the Net Career Guidance Handbook. Here there is an Atsan course in prabbing. And it's a step, meaning you take your entire duration of two years before you sit for Kenya National Examination exams. And uh, here you have the potential job market for if you pursue the course. That is Atsan in Prabin. Again, the entry requirement. All you need is your KCSE certificate. But if you had joined high school, you need to have at least called an E or a D minus. There is a certificate course in uh, prabbing, and uh, it's also tap. You need to stay for the entire two year duration before you sit for your Kenya National Examination exam. This is a potential job market for you. It is prabbing work in the building industry. The entry requirement you require a D plane in KCSE, but I should also mention. Some institution, especially for arts and course, they usually shorten that two-year duration, especially if all their students had uh, joined high school. Because in any case, they have more knowledge and they are able to uh, grasp concept faster now that they had already joined high school. In some institution, it's two years. In some other institution, it could be much less than two years. Now let us check the prabbing syllabus itself. I'll only be interested in the core units in prabbing but we should also mention entrepreneurship education is an important unit because it will give you the short skill required in case you decide to go for self-employment notice it is only allocated 154 hours there is science which is allocated 88 hours in science they will be do a bit of physics they will do a bit of chemistry this will help them in understanding the various chemical and physical properties of the various materials and accessories they will be doing in their they will be using in their prabbing work. There is technical drawing, which is a common unit to all engineering students, allocated only 88 hours. There is site and workshop management, this is an important unit, especially in management of site and workshops. It will give them the various rules and regulations for sites and workshop, the safety, the use of various types of tools and equipment, and so on. And then there is actual prabbing work. Notice how much time is allocated for the actual prabbing. That is a core unit. And they'll cover all these areas. That is introduction safety tools and equipment, machine tools, metals used in prabbing, sheet metal work, arrows. They'll cover the water and the various quantities of water, pipe work. They'll uh, cover the cold water supply system, hot water supply system, sanitary appliances, that is for uh, wastewater system, the roofing, that is rainwater harvesting, 
uh, the gas welding, especially when it comes to deal with GI pipes, uh, the drainage system, the arc welding, especially again when it comes to deal with GI pipes and gas pipelines, uh, the gas supply, they also discuss design and smithing, costing and tendering, which you have seen is a unit for all engineering students. And then finally, they will do soldering, especially when they, it comes to sheet metal work and dealing with metallic pipes. So basically, that's what we do for theory and for practical. At the science, at just like what engineers, they also deal with pressure, because we know pressure is an important concept in uh, water systems. And still again, at the science, there is a, a bit of uh, electrochemistry, especially because of electrolysis and oxidation of pipe. And as a result of various chemicals in water, magnetism and electromagnetism, these are electrical units that are geared to assist the student to understand the operation of various electrical machines especially the major equipment in water pumping, which is electric pump. Let us check more about probing. In the first stage, the probing theory is allocated 110 hours to cover all this. You can pause the video and check it. They will cover all this. My syllabus is not very clear because it's scanned, uh, but at least you can pause the video and check. In the second stage, it is allocated 8 hours, that is the diore. They are supposed to cover all these, that is paperwork, cold water supply, hot water supply, sanitation appliances, drainage, both above and ground, uh, roof weathering, that is for wearing water harvesting, gas welding. So you can see these are very useful units when it comes to actual crabbing work. And then there is drainage both underground and below the ground. And for the practical part of probing, you can see how much time is allocated as compared to Diore, 440 hours. At least Diore was less, allowed 100 hours. So the amount of time allocated for practice is four times the amount of allocated in Diore. And this is one thing I like about certificate courses, both for mechanical, not only for probing, but for electrical, mechanical, building and construction. There is a lot of time allocated for practical part so because they will be doing an external practical exam, then practical part of the training is given a lot of emphasis. This is what we'll do for practice in the first stage. You can pause the video and check. In the second stage, probing practice is allocated for 114 hours. This is what we'll be doing. You can pause the video and check. And finally, in the third stage, uh, the probing practice is allocated 442 hours. Not 442, but 462 hours. Again, you can pause the video, check what we'll be doing in that stage of practice. The entire duration of the course is 2,970 hours, out of which 660 hours are allocated for uh, external attachment, which is approximately nine months. And we have seen 1584 hours are allocated for the actual work in crabbing and out of these 1584 hours allowed 1300 hours are allocated for actual practical work in crabbing so these are very good cause you do a lot of practice which is i believe what every student would like to do in any training institution and for you to be able to join the course at least you need to have done a Natsan course in probing or acquired at least a grade of, uh, I think here there is a bit of some confusion. In the career guidance hard book, they were saying D-Prain, but there they are saying d -press. But I believe it should be d to join the certificate course in probing. Alternatively, if you have less than D, you can start by doing the Natsan course and then you can join the certificate course in probing. The examining body is NEC, Kenya National Examination Council. And for you to successfully pursue this course, you need to pass all the papers that you sit at the end of the final year of study. If you fail in one paper or two papers, the overall result will be a refer. And you have to repeat the papers that you fail so that you can uh, finally be awarded certificate in Prabhupada. 
If you pass all the papers, you'll be ad awarded uh, your transcript and your certificate in Prabi. Again, awarding of the certificate is not by the institution where you study, but by Kenya National Examination Council. So from what you have seen, water engineering is much, much broader than prabbing, but prabbing work is very important in water engineering. It is the responsibility of the water engineer to ensure that the water leaches the prabber and this water is safe for consumption or use or for domestic and industrial use. Then it's the responsibility of the prabber to install all the pipework in the building or in collaboration with the civil engineer to install the water supply pipeline. The prabber will install the cold water system, hot water system and uh, the waste water system or the sanitary system. So prabbing is a very important aspect of water engineering and I usually advise students if you are in prabbing, you can increase your knowledge by pursuing a course in water engineering. And if you are in water engineering, you can further your knowledge in prabbing by doing a prabbing course, especially the one that you have seen here, which is very, very practical. We cannot end the video at that point, but if you have a brother, a sister, a cousin, a family friend who are either in high school or they intend to pursue a course in any of the institutions in Kenya, you can send them the link to my videos so that they can do prior research before they decide to join any course. We can now meet in the next video. I believe I have not wasted your time in this video and certainly not in the next video.